Rude and reckless in the building. I my, 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 no. had a delay on the buttons, gentlemen. How are we doing today? I appreciate you guys. How uh, how's your day going? It's going Pretty all good. right. It's going all right. It's hot. Hell yeah. You guys have a hell of a cool. What are those pop Funko pops in the background in the case back there? What is all that? Oh, oh man, collect them all. Sure. I bobbleheads. That is a ton of them, hell yeah. But now they lost all their value because they're not in the, the little box things, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. Uh, fellas, I appreciate you guys joining me today. Could you please properly introduce yourself? Let us know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Plug or promote anything you'd like. All right. Sweet. Well, I'm Gio. I'm the guitarist. I'm the singer Ram. And I'm the guitarist, Gavin. And then we have two people who can show up today. We have Micah, who's currently our drummer. And then Chase, who's... Chase the bass! Guys. Chase the bass. Yeah. Of course, I can't forget that. I can't forget that. You guys are you guys are out of LA. Yeah, I mean we all we're all over in the Inland Empire. Yeah. We all live, and then we just meet up in uh, that's a Wineville. Is it Wineville? No, it's uh, Miraloma. Mira Loma. Mira Loma. Yeah, they changed their name to Miraloma. Yeah, because they used to have what the the Wineville murders and stuff over there. Had right down the street. Yeah. Down the street. Really? Right down the street. That's crazy. Fellas, I've been fortunate enough to hang out with you a couple times. You guys are super awesome. Your music's awesome. The show is awesome. If someone didn't know who you guys were, though, what would be the first song you'd, you'd like me to play? Me, personally, I think Devil's Night might be my favorite. But what, what would be the first song that you would show someone uh, if they were like, oh, you're in a band? Yeah, check this out. What would be the first one you'd like me to play today? The Edge of the Blade. That, that was the first song I worked with the band win, uh, with. And... Uh, Really explains it all. We're the baddest motherfuckers around, you know. But, uh, the song really speaks for itself. You said "Edge of the Blade." Yeah. Let's do it. Well, yeah. let's, you know what we should do. What we should do is do this version right here, live from the whiskey. Oh, there we go. So oh, people yeah. can get a little taste of uh, how kick-ass the show is. Now I know you guys only have one album out. How long have you been a band for? This lineup was going almost a year, yeah. Yeah, a little over a year, but we're actually working on our second. We're actually hitting the studio Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah we we'll start working on our album. second album. Who, who are you working with? Who are you recording? Uh, uh, who's doing all the production? Billy. Uh, you guys know Billy. Billy. I don't know Billy. It's dude, Billy. Billy. Yeah, yeah. guy, Billy. He actually, we met him at the festival, and he wanted to record us. Cool dude. Really? He, yeah, he wants to do... Uh, Want to be our producer, and he's gonna help us get with more managers and stuff like that. So that is awesome. Us. That is awesome. Hell yeah, networking going down the festival. I love it. I love it. Uh, Ram, you seem like a seasoned vocalist. Like you've been doing this for a while. Surely you've been in other projects prior to Rude and Reckless. How long have you been a vocalist performing? I started out in 2011 with uh, my first band, The Symptom. Of uh, you know, the guitarist had a baby. Uh, everyone else went off to college, so. Uh, luckily, I found these guys, and we've been jamming for um, different lineups for a while. This solid lineup for a year now, and uh, you know they're my they're my fucking brothers. You know, Aww. was it was your previous project a similar sound, or was it completely different? It was more like a power metal thing, you know. It was uh, more in that direction, but um, and that that was great for like you know working the crowd and like understanding that relationship with the band uh, and the audience. So like. Um, really helped me settle into into my own as a singer yeah. do you guys uh i mean with the name like rude and reckless you guys got to be crazy sometimes does does i i don't think i've ever got to like party party with you because we're kind of you know playing you're playing a show i'm kind of like helping promote it blah 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 but if we were just uh let's say you just finished a set and i wasn't working are we partying we're getting crazy backstage does the name stick with the band well, then, uh, the party started before the set. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah! Hell yeah! What do you guys do when you're when you're when you're not jamming? What's just what's just fun hobbies on the side that you have personally? Burn things. Hobby <laughs> <laughs> uh, fireworks right next to our ears. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Blowing shit up. Um, yeah. Honestly, just, just working music. 
That's I speak for myself. Just work for music. I don't know how the other guys feel, but it's, it's, it's all music all. for me. Yeah, if I'm not working, I'm with the band. If I'm not with the band, I'm at the gym. If I'm not the gym, I'm sleepy. Yeah. Fair enough. No, no video games or or anything like that on the side. Sometimes. Yeah. A little bit. My what, Xbox. What you gaming? What you gaming on? Uh, right now, uh, For Honor. Chase and I chase the bass. Play a little bit of For Honor. Cool. I know. Right now, I mean, before my Xbox fucking sh- took a shit on me, I used to play a shit little GTA. <laughs> yeah. Just. Fuck shit up. It's a bummer when the Xbox goes down. It's no good. It's no good. I do want to play Devil's Night. Uh, tell me, I mean, it's obvious what the title like that, kind of what the song's about, but Ram, can you go into a little bit more detail what the song means from like a lyrical perspective? Yeah, man. Well, uh, the first night, first week I joined the band, uh, we decided just out of nowhere after rehearsal, hey, let's go to let's go to L.A. Let's go hang out at the Rainbow. And we had one hell of a night, and honestly, that's what this song's about. It's about the uh, Sunset Strip and getting plastered and having a good time, you know? Oh, like last night. Especially <laughs> last night. <laughs> Who's the biggest celebrity you've seen at Rainbow? Because there's always rock stars there. Uh, we smoked out with Dave Draymond a uh, while ago. That's the lead singer of Disturbed, man. Uh, that is cool. That, that was pretty cool, man. Um, saw Bon Jovi there a little while ago, just chilling. <laughs> hell yeah. But yeah. Devil's Stop. Night. Let's do it. Crazy. So you said Billy's so you reco- said- Billy's recording the new stuff. Who recorded this album? We our recorded garage. it. Yeah, we, <laughs> we recorded it in our garage. Dude, and, it sounds uh, pretty damn good. Well, thank you so uh, much. Thank you. Production wise, yeah, for sure. What what uh what's uh what DAW did you use to do the recording? Uh, that was Logic. Um, we used a Scarlet two. No, was it two eighteen? Yeah, to to I eighteen. Two I eighteen, yeah. So oh. we recorded. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. And then we got it. We got to mix and master with a buddy of mine. He's a sound engineer, a world class audio. His name is Sean Sullivan. Badass dude. That guy has a six studio. Yep, yeah, real shout, nice. Shout out to Sean Sullivan. All right, well, with the music that you guys make, surely classic rock, classic metal is a big, is a big influence. Let's just go around the room. Give me give me your favorite metal album ever made. Ooh. Ooh. You want to start, man? Ooh. That is a loaded question. It's a hard I would, one. I would say, personally, I'm not, I can't answer it truthfully because this isn't going to be, like, the greatest, but... The one that did it for me and got me into metal was Megadeth's first album, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. That that rawness, they did it on a budget. I was like, ooh, that's all you need. You just need to know how to play, and then that's it. Oh, yeah. Good call. Honestly. It's fucking great, man. For me, I'd say it's a, it's a toss-up between Paranoid and No Rest for the Wicked, Ozzy. And I gotta say, Ozzy, man, because he he's the one that's like been the main influence since I started this whole thing, you know. And um, yeah, man, his first album was Zach Wild. That shit just shreds, dude. For me, uh, it's more of a new metal, but uh, dude, Rage, that first album just slaps, man. Yeah, good call. Like, Ozzy's still uh, rocking to this day too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. classic he just, uh, number one album Did he? in Billboard. Yes, no. Yeah. Straight to the top. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, fellas, we've got some of the uh, some of the hard ones out of the way. Let's have some let's have a little fun before before we play a little bit more of Devil's Night. I want to do some trivia. Except you guys get to pick the trivia. Here's the thing, though. If did you bring any hot sauce? Oh man, you got uh, hot sauce, dude. I, I got beer. beer. I got beer. I got beer. We got beer. Beer is cool. Okay, so if. If uh, you get, if I'm able to stump you, and you get to pick the trivia, if uh, if I'm able to stump you, chug a beer, I'll chug a beer with you. But if you do get it correct, we'll give you a wheel spin of which it could land on anything. Probably something that's going to torture me, but more likely it could be a prize for yourself. Here's the thing: what is your favorite movie or TV show, or a movie or TV show you've seen so many times? You can only pick one that. Uh, if I ask you trivia about this movie and or TV show, you will not get it wrong. I'll give you a second to discuss and think about it. Play a little more Devil's Night. So catchy. Fellas, did you think of uh, a particular movie or TV show? I guess uh, Gio's going up first. I mean, are we all doing it together or? 
Well, you can only pick one yeah. trivia, or just toss out one or two, and maybe I'll ask a question about one, question about the other, and then you all can answer when I ask the question. You guys, you guys even watch the show? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Futurama. Futurama heard. Give me just a second. Let's play. Uh, let's play. Running through the jungle, which I think is also my my other favorite one. Um, it's just such uh, a fun live one. Uh, talk to me about running through the jungle. Oh man, uh, I love the solos back and forth part. Yeah, fucking slash. solos were tough for sure. That was the first one I think that we ran through that we uh, yep. had recorded. That's the yeah. first one we ever did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, here's a little background about the band. Actually, I wanted to mention. Uh, is it Running Through the Jungle, Running Through the Night, and Hookers on Holt were written by the singer that came before me. And uh, he, he passed away in a tragic accident, and uh, a few months later they, they found me, and we were able to take these songs and try to do them justice for him and for his family. Oh, wow. So, I, I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. sorry for the loss. Yeah. But that's, uh, that's, a cool, that's a cool way to like pay it forward and, and pay tribute to him by keeping his lyrics on paper and put it putting it to the music and completing what he aspired for essentially that's very sure. cool of you guys uh i need to i need to just another minute or two to find find the trivia but let's play a little run through the jungle <laughs> your trivia boys here we go in futurama fry has a brother what is fry's brother's name What is Yancey? Yancey is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. Well done. Well done. Oh, come on, Chewy. Pick a hot sauce. All right, so I have to chug a beer because I lost. But before I do that, I have to consume a bunch of hot sauce. Fellas, pick a number one through 15. 15. Number 15? That's the hottest one. <sighs> the mildest one. You did pick a pretty damn hot one. You picked <laughs> the, uh, they're in a random order. Here, I'll show you. I have like a whole bunch of them right here. And they're in a, they're in a random order. But uh, you picked the ghost, the chili and ghost pepper hot sauce from our friends in Canada Ooh. that sent it to me. They're oh, they're called Death hey, Perception. Hey, 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 that to this man, Dio. <sighs> Why'd you do that, man? Why'd you, you didn't have to do that. It's all good. It's part of the show. Uh, you're welcome to consume the beer with me. Let's party. Play a little more Run Through the Jungle. <laughs> Fellas, all of a sudden, you can now go anywhere in the world on this giant world tour you've just been offered. It's a 60-country world tour. What country is the one you want to visit and play the most? Uh, Japan. Japan? Japan. 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 Yeah. It's beautiful anything, country, anything. amazing people. And they're just into that stuff. They're into that rock and roll. Have you guys ever have you guys ever been out of the States? Uh like visit any far far countries anywhere? No, not countries. Not myself. I mean plane wise. I mean uh, I got, I used to visit Mexico almost like twice a year when I was younger. Up to high school. And then uh I visited El Salvador. Because uh, I have family in El Salvador and Costa Rica. Fair enough. That's cool. Hell yeah. Have you ever have you ever thought about having like a, a popular artist jump on jump on a track just for plays and buzz reason? Let's say this artist that you have in mind is like, I'll do it for free. Who would that artist be? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Zach Wild. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be a good one. <laughs> or Steve Vai. Steve Vai. Whoa. Would be, uh, that, would, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Some it good answers. Flat. Serious. Yeah, Slash would be good too. Yeah. There's so many. It's a role naming guitarist too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Some good answers right there. Uh, if we could play a third song, what would you like us to play? Uh, what did you guys um, think? What's that? Holy water. Holy water? Holy water? You think so? I think uh, maybe. Let me through the night. Let me through the night. There you go. That's a classic. Yeah. yeah. Hey, All the songs are great. Yeah. Love Me Through the Night is uh, has been selected. How many songs can we expect on the, the new album that's that's coming out? All of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends, because we've been uh, talking about doing it maybe... Uh, so it's like side A, side B. Yeah. I want to say eight. 
tracks right now. Maybe even stretch it because we do have a lot of material. So we were thinking, yeah, A, B, maybe some of the softer stuff that people would be into on one side and then more of the heavy metal driving stuff on one side. Just kind of break it up so there's not so much back and forth. So it might be like uh, album A, album B. Yeah. Well, we haven't put on a name yet. Yeah, I know. He always jokes about uh, Jesus the dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus was a dinosaur. Jesus was a dinosaur. Yeah, God was a dinosaur. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. 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 It's not. It's not up in the air. That one. <laughs> yeah, Chat good. wants to know if you could play with a deceased guitar player, who would it be? Oh man. Um, Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix, oh, uh, Randy, Randy Rose pops yeah. in my mind. Uh, oh, Randy, Randy Rose. Rose. Yeah. Honestly, Eddie Van Halen. Oh, yeah, dude. Eddie yes. Van Halen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was sad when, when Eddie passed, man. I saw him live maybe like two years earlier uh, for uh, a Van Halen tour. And, uh, man, that one sucked. They have a beautiful mural at the Guitar Center in uh, Hollywood. Yeah, a beautiful mirror of him outside. It's fucking sick. Ah, I've never seen it. I'll have to check it out. Love me through the night. Let's play it. One more time, guys. If you're watching and you're enjoying the music, please support the band. Go on Spotify. Follow them. Heck yeah. Rude and reckless. What do you guys got going on the rest of the year that you're allowed to tell us about? I know you, you told us a lot. You were working on the album. Uh, some upcoming shows we can promote. Uh, what do you What are you allowed to tell us? Sometimes some of that stuff's like secretive, like it's mapped out. We can't tell you, bro. But what are you allowed we, to tell me? We have a show tomorrow. This, yeah, yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Where um, We're at Universal Bar and Grill in North Hollywood. Nice, the, excellent. Uh, Michelangelo Beatty over. He's gonna be there. Oh, the the quad guitar dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I met him at at Nam many years ago, and uh, that dude was crazy nice, man. He signed a, a couple. He signed stuff for everybody, but he did like a demo at at his at his thing, and I was just like, holy sh. <laughs> He's crazy. Is he playing or just what's he? Yeah, he's playing, yeah, he's playing right before us, I believe. Yeah. What? He's opening for you guys? What? <laughs> You're the, the you're gonna have a packed crowd, bro. <laughs> yeah, wait, it's gonna be fun. That is gonna be a kick-ass one for sure. Bring out the cameras and film something for that, just because that that should be some good footage for sure. What about uh, what about after tomorrow? What's some other shows you guys got coming up we can promote? So uh, we're in the we're in the midst of trying to lock down a show on the nineteenth in November at the Viper Room. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to get in there before they knock it down. Yeah, before they make it to the hotel. <laughs> well, I, I, speaking of that, so our buddy that works at the Whiskey Go Go, I can't name drop him because I don't want to quote him, but I'm kind of already saying too much. But he's basically told me that within the grapevine of the scene, they're saying that they are going to do something, but actually expand it and it will still be a place where bands can play. It just may not look the same when it's done and everything else will be on top of it. So right. I, I don't really know how that's going to work because there's the downstairs room, the upstairs room. The upstairs room is like super small, but it's just really fun, intimate shows. But, yeah, uh, dude, you got every show that we played at so far. Uh, like, I don't even know you guys even collaborated. You know? Talking about, um, what was the name? You know the name. The guy who's known to paint face. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll yeah. say that. We'll say that. <laughs> Hell yeah, he's he's awesome. He's a great guy. Uh, yeah. Is there is there like a tentative timetable when we can expect the new album to be out? I'm assuming sometime in 2023, uh, but, but maybe spring ish. That's yeah. a tough one because we're, we're we're very we're assholes when it comes down to the studio. Like yeah. I mean, be like that part sucks, and then be like, dude, I like it. It's like no, it fucking <laughs> sucks. Do it again. We're perfectionists. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. Just That's cool. We the best. Yeah. I we totally get it. We'll we'll say we'll say summertime to be safe. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Be safe. Summertime to be safe. Uh, I got uh, just a couple questions left for you guys, and I'll let you enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I do want to do one more trivia question here in a bit, though. But do you guys have any weird phobias? Anything that just freaks you out? You just do do not like this. Uh, the occasional existential dread. Relationship <laughs> commitment. <laughs> 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 um, 
Not really. Maybe when I was younger, it was like, uh, I don't know. Maybe like claustrophobia, but then again, like, you got to get over that quickly for like my work. So it's like, Nothing but, really, honestly. I don't know, getting fucking stabbed. Hate clown. <laughs> yeah, getting <laughs> shot or stabbed. That's yeah, a dying. Yeah. I have a dying phobia. There you go. That's a good one, Jim. Yeah. That's a good call. It's, there you go. <laughs> I think most people have that one. Fear of dying, for sure. Uh, let's yeah. tr- let's try one more Futurama trivia. Here we go. At one point in the show, Bender goes on tour with a musician, specifically a singer's head. What singer's head does Bender go on tour with? Ben. Yeah, Mother f- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Damn it. Well done, boys. You guys cannot be stumped when it comes to Futurama. Well done. Oh, this is a good one. So it landed on a golden ticket. So uh, what that means is uh, every time we have 32 artists that have either won a stream or gotten a golden ticket, we put on a tournament of champions. It's actually happening this Sunday right here on Twitch at 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, so these are the, all the artists that are competing. It's okay with you guys. Can we golden ticket you automatically into the next one? It's kind of a good exposure thing. All the bands tell their fans. Their fans come to just, just vote for only them. But while they're waiting and watching all the other bands, they're like, oh, Rude and Reckless is dope. I'm going to go follow them. This band's cool. I'm going to go support them. So, like, kind of everybody wins on those days. Yeah, yeah I'm down with it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Give me a hell yeah. Factory? So I want to go to the track the factory. That sounds dirty. Oh. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to go to the track the factory. So, scratch it. <laughs> Was there, uh, I have a chat question coming in. Was there any music... Or song you secretly listened to when you were younger that was completely out of the genre, the music genre you listen to now. That now still, uh, yeah, yeah. I do that now still. Yeah, we got our guilty pleasure songs for I've, sure. I've been hooked on uh, CeeLo Green, "Forget You." That's a dope song. <laughs> oh fuck you! That, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck you. You can do that one too. Uh, <laughs> I just listened to some like uh, what, what is it? EDM, fucking um, psytrance music on the side, man. That shit, fucking. Zone out, just listen to that stuff for a while. Yeah, for me, it's uh, bachata music. Uh, Aventura, dude, that fucking, that band is fucking sick. Or any Motown. Any oh, dude, Motown, oh yeah. yeah. That, I mean, that's yeah. Group, group Eclect- Eclectic answer for sure, all over the place, but I love it. Um, fellas, I only have one final question for you, but this is actually a really serious one. What is a piece of musical advice that somebody in the music industry has said, hey, blah, 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 and it kind of made you take your career a little more serious, or a bad, terrible mistake you made early on in your career you don't want any starting up band to make? Getting arrested? <laughs> don't get arrested. <laughs> um, I joined up with a band earlier in my career, and for maybe a year and a half, almost two years, they they were kind of just not going anywhere, not not making any music, having one gig a year. And I wasted a lot of time with that. So I'd say like any musicians coming up, just understand your own worth and understand where to put your time, where to put your value. Hell yeah. That and take every gig you can freaking get. Yeah, that's always a big one, you know. If you just pass on a gig, it's like, oh, I'll do it another time, or keep pushing it up. I mean, the only way to get exposure is by getting out there, and all you want to do is sit in your room and play it, and that's, and that's what you do. Yeah. And if you're getting into music, start off with learning from people that you really like. Learn from that so you get a basic understanding, and then just continue to learn and grow. And if you're really starting off, just join a band. Meet people who play music, understand their wavelengths, because... At the end of the day, you're gonna make each other better musicians. Not only that, some kind of theory. As much as people don't like scales or anything like that, you yes. gotta at least know theory. So because it, what you're doing. it just helps with the efficiency and everything like that. You can make songs a lot better, more refined, quicker if you have a understanding of how to communicate certain things. So that goes a long way. I get it. So with theory, Ram be like, ah, and you just be like, oh, I got it. Just right there. That's the key I'm looking for. Right there. Well, I get it. Yeah, that's a theory. 
I like it. Fellas, you guys are absolute rock stars. I appreciate you doing this. Uh, thank you so much. You're fantastic. Hopefully, I can uh, catch the show soon. Have a great set tomorrow. Please don't be strangers. You're welcome back anytime. But, fellas, I thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Ladies and gentlemen, Rude and Reckless! Yeah, hell yeah! Let's go! Yeah!